Hello! How are you? In this video, I will talk about fibrosis, what it is and what are the types of treatment. This subject is very important for those who have had or are going to have a plastic surgery or for those who want to act as a specialist in post-operative. Well, but I, before uh, I start, I would like to ask you to like this video and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. So, what's fibrosis? Fibrosis is an internal scar. It's the development in excess of fibrous connective tissue, which attach the skin to the muscle, leaving it with an irregular appearance. It's an internal healing of a tissue formed by collagen, which is present in each uh, location that the lipocannula passes between the skin and the muscle. Uh, fibrosis leaves the skin looking uneven and hard. They are more common in liposuction, placement of silicone processes, and tummy tuck. Why does fibrosis happen? As most plastic surgeries are made up of invasive techniques, this triggers a defensive reaction in our body. In the case of liposuction, for example, the greater the amount of fat removed, the greater the aggression and consequently the greater the body's reaction. With this, the body works for forced healing, which can be irregular in the region where the liposuction was done and also in the surgical incision. Fibrosis is like an uh, edema that disrupts the, the functioning of fibroblasts, which are responsible for healing it works in excess and without guidance. The, produ the producing uh, that volume of collagen that we view, visualize through waves in the region of plastic surgery. How to treat fibrosis? Aesthetic treatments such as lymphatic drainage, taping, vacuum therapy, ultrasound and radio frequency can help reduce this fibrosis, especially when it's recent, that is less than a month old but late fibrosis can also be treated. When fibrosis causes pain or deformity, as in case of thumb tuck and lipo, the specialist can perform a manual procedure to release adhesions for, from the internal scar, which helps more in the final result. These are usually the treatments I use in my post-surgical protocol, and I always achieve a good result. So that's it. I hope I have cleared your doubts. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. <laughs>